country needs to set out a vision over five to ten years and say where does the country want to be and what does it want to be known for and then paint a, a broader picture and a better picture in terms of what the country is looking to achieve to attract more engineers both within the country and outside of the country. It's, it's not university age students, it's those younger students that we want to encourage to look at different careers to make more pa possible uh, within their careers. So there's quite a bit that's happening within the UK today from Big Bang events to other types of events that are encouraging students to consider careers outside of engineering. A lot happening within schools as part of the year of engineering last year. How do you bring that together I think is going to be key to the future success. For us, the, the biggest area that we're, we're focused on within the UK and attracting engineers is in the area of digital. So looking at people around some of the, the new capabilities, emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence and IoT and machine learning and, and areas where we can develop solutions to go to our customers to offer a greater value added service. That's going to create, be created by us and be created by engineers. We looked and analyzed Brexit two years ago and we said, you know, there's varying degrees of Brexit. If there is a hard Brexit and borders become a, a challenge throughout Europe, then we need to be prepared for that. So we have prepared, we put in an extra inventory. Uh, we've had to go make some investments in terms of OPEX to make sure that we can move product freely across the region um, and the region being Europe overall. Uh, and we're, we benefit from having a global footprint. So we actually have warehouses already in other countries throughout Europe. So we're well prepared, obviously. We're hoping for the best, but prepared for the worst.